in regards to the issue of Salatul Ghaib, the scholars have differed whether it is permissible indefinitely to offer funeral prayer to whomever had died and we were not able to witness his janaza or not. So sometimes you go to a masjid and one of the brothers says, Akhi, he goes to the imam and says, Akhi, my uncle died in, in the UK and he was a dear uncle to me and I'd like to pray Salatul Ghaib. So after Isha prayer, the Imam says, we will offer Salatul Ghaib for so and so. And, and, and tomorrow Fajr, another one says, well, my uh, brother died in Egypt. And at Dhuhr prayer, another one says, my uncle died in uh, Syria. And what is this? In the Masjid, we have like a thousand people praying every single Fard. And definitely one of them must have lost a loved one. So is this part of the Sunnah to do this? The answer is no. There are so many people who had died and the Prophet did not offer Ali Sallallahu funeral prayer for their souls because they were in other countries. So why did the Prophet offer it Ali Sallallahu Alaihi over the Abyssinian king. Scholars said because he was the only Muslim and there were no Muslims around him to offer it. But if a Muslim dies in a country where the community takes care of washing him, shrouding him, offering funeral prayer on him and burying him, in this case, it is not legitimate for us to offer such a prayer. Now, if you were someone who was traveling and came back and a loved one, a relative who had died last one month to go and offer such a prayer, there's no problem, inshallah. What about offering funeral prayer a number of times? It's no problem. We've washed, shrouded our deceased in our house and now he is at the side of the room waiting for the ambulance to come and pick him up to go to the masjid. Women come and pray, no problem. Men offer funeral prayer on their own, no problem. We take him to the masjid, after Fard Salat we offer funeral prayer in congregation. Those who prayed home can pray again. We take him to the cemetery and there were latecomers who did not offer it. So before the burial, they place it and they pray funeral prayer and we come, we join them. So this is our third time. No problem. It's a dua. It's a prayer. It's a good thing to offer. There's no problem in that, inshallah.